the hustle and bustle of a Central Oregon ski lodge. Done with your run, you toss your gear onto one of these racks. But how easy is it for someone to simply walk off with your stuff? Very easy. I yeah, they're real, real easy. Other than it, then hopefully they're watching for people doing that kind of thing. Really easy. I mean, <laughs> I've, I've never had parking that close before. Yeah. Mount Bachelor staff say they keep records on stolen gear. We haven't seen an increase in um, stolen gear or reports of stolen gear this season. It really has kind of stayed the same over the years. Mountain staff claim cases of swiped skis and boards remain rare. I feel like as a local, I've never... Never, never really thought about it. Between yeah. like all of our friends, never heard of issues. I haven't had any problems personally. Because we're such a smaller community, maybe it's not that big of an issue. I grew up on the Northeast and it was, I feel like it was more in the back of your head out there. I don't know why, but. <laughs> it is, however, seeing an increase in gear going missing unintentionally. People are accidentally taking the skis or the rental skis or skis that look similar to theirs um, as another guest, which then kind of sparks this wild goose chase. We are seeing maybe a bit more of, of that this season from what we can tell. So in case you want that extra layer of security, the next time you break for a bite, well, there are ways to make sure your stuff stays where it should. Split my skis. I also bought a lock that held the skis together for a while, but it was pretty cumbersome. Just make sure you have stuff that's not as nice as somebody else's <laughs> on the rack. Peyton Thomas, Central Oregon Daily News.